guys welcome back to my youtube channel i thought i'd just finish off these videos about mdisk for uh backup purposes i've talked about the mdisk i interviewed the mdisk guy uh inventor um last week it's a very interesting form of storage medium it's an optical storage medium intended specifically as opposed to you know dvds for long-term archival use it's available as a dvd and a blu-ray these days i'd imagine everybody's using it on blu-ray because it's just more capacity currently available in 25 50 and 100 gigabyte uh, blu-ray discs and you need a mdisc capable burner to write to it because it's got a very unique process of uh, burning data into really etching it into an inorganic layer versus a uh, conventional blu-ray burning and if you're curious about all these details check out my interview with uh, Barry Lunt, um, Professor Barry Lunt from uh, Brigham, and that's on this YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Now I've talked in my backup videos about 321 backup and you know, the, in the ideal thing, it's not just enough to have a local backup, however great it is to have a local backup, you wanna have it somewhere offsite too. So you've got two options regarding MDisk. One is, let's say you're doing what I'm doing, I'm backing up YouTube videos. 25 gigs at a time you can back up uh, you can write uh, burn a zip archive which is the way I'm doing it to one disk and then you just burn it to another disk and most backup um, software like burn burn uh, I can't remember the name of the one I'm using they have an option for this it's like you create one and it says you want to write another disk with the same data or you can just start the process again and uh, if you're let's say you've a uh, archive called archive.zip you can just add that again pop a new disk into your uh, blu-ray mdisc burner and uh, go ahead and do that now that's fine it does work it's a little bit labor intensive so because of the fact that these things are used for storage uh, so frequently there is a class of product called duplicators. Now this isn't just for M-Discs, it exists for DVDs, for Blu-rays. And given that the optical storage media market in a whole is like kind of in decline as storage moves to the cloud and to, uh, you know, hard drive. And I've talked about why that is definitely, the cloud is wonderful, but it's not necessarily the best storage medium, especially for cold archival. So these websites you will perhaps notice all have a little bit of an old school look to them. Um, and that's probably for that reason, but they do exist, these products. And just to give you an example, there's this website I'm on called Duplicators for All, for all your duplication needs. And like, take a look at this beast. It's a one to seven burner, Blu-ray, CVD, DVD duplicator. I don't know who'd be buying these things, if it's backup or if it's like just uh, in the pre-torrent uh, days, this is how pirates would burn a bunch of uh, copies. Let, let's just assume it's for legitimate use. Um, so these are the type of places where you will find it. Now, in my case, for simple offsite backup, I don't need a seven um, disc duplicator. I just need one more copy, right? So ideally I'd like to pop in one M disc and say duplicate that, and then I can uh, mark up the new disc as offsite backup. And as I said, do physical offsite, which can be sending it to a friend, storing it in, in some other offsite location. So I actually had trouble. This website was like almost overkill for my needs. Blu-ray M-Disc duplicator, right? In this product category. Oh no, we have one, sorry, I stand corrected. Um, so let me show you just a few of the products and give you an idea for how much they cost. The problem with enterprise tech you'll find, for instance, stuff like this, is that it's very expensive. It's priced for enterprises. So you can see this guy is 535 pounds sterling. It looks very, very old school. I would not be surprised if this isn't supported for that much longer, but it is M-Disc capable. You can see the M-Disc logo here. Uh, and it's listed in the product as an M-Disc tower. Uh, and they kind of, you know, um, uh, give you info about the M-Disc, which I'm not gonna repeat because of the fact that uh, I've talked about M-Discs plenty over the last few videos. So this is one source, it's pricey. If, you know, if money isn't an object, um, you can buy one of these and just burn your M-Disc and then um, copy it over and you can do, the advantage of these is you can do offline copy, right? So you don't need a computer. You can just stick in one CD, stick in a second CD or M disc, and then push a button that says copy. And if they've got the same capacity, i.e. you have enough room, it'll just cop copy source to target. So these exist for hard drives as well, but they also exist for optical media. Um, now, if it literally would be cheaper, and this is probably what I'm gonna do because I don't have uh, you know, 500 pounds to spend on this pet project, 
I'm just going to probably be using my burning software and burning one disk and then just, you know, manually burning a second copy. Or you could even buy two M disk burners and uh, a burn for free has a, feature, has a feature for actually that. It'll say you've got your source in the first uh, Blu-ray burner and you've got your target in the second and I'll do a source to target. Now, given that the Blu-ray burners only cost about $100, the M-Disc ones, again, $100 extra is cheaper than $500, ex £500 pounds extra, which is more like $700. Uh, you can probably find a little bit cheaper on Amazon M-Disc duplicator if I search for these. And you, the, the lingo you wanna use is one to one. You can see there's one to five. Um, and if you fish around, you'll probably find, so this one where we've actually come down considered room price, this one is $219 uh, and it does have MDisk support. And by the way, you can use a one to five as one to one, right? You don't have to, it's just the capacity that's there, but you'd imagine that the less, uh, the smaller machines would be cheaper. So $200 isn't extraordinary. Uh, it's a one to three um, in this case. So you could have your source here and three targets. So that would be really intense backup, not useful for most people. Here we go, here's a one to one machine. This guy is $270 on Amazon, unfortunately. So I have my address set to a US address and that's, um, that is intentional, but it means that these are 110 volt products. So if you're based in a non US geography like me that runs on 220 volts, uh, it may be a little bit trickier to find a one-to-one -one that isn't crazy expensive like this $500 machine and which will also work on your voltage unless you know if you don't want to use a tran transformer so i don't think this guy is dual voltage uh, but that's just another factor to be aware of it would be cheaper to buy these things on amazon us but then you're going to run into uh voltage problems so uh that's what's out there on the market for m disk uh duplication currently um again i i i hope this product class doesn't become obsolete i if i can find one that's relatively cheap i'm probably going to buy one in the next year for this reason, like before they go off the market, I'll like get one up. Um, but you know, um, storage actually doesn't move as quite as quickly as you think. And there are people I know using MDisc for archival. So I'd imagine this, uh, this technology is not actually in as much risk of obsolescence as may initially seem the case. I uh, hope that video is useful for fellow data archiving and MDisc fans, just a quick uh, tour of what's on the market there and the economics in buying that gear and until the next video.